Hi you guys, welcome. I hope everyone is having a good weekend so far. This is going to be a nature and tarot oracle messages for Taurus babies. Taurus, how are you doing? Um, if you've been here, I love you guys. Thank you for the support and love all the gratitude. Uh, if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome, like, subscribe. This is a general free reading. If you ever need a personal reading, that information is always in the description box below. If you'd like to be entered into the drawing to win a free personal reading with me, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and in the comments, comment your sun sign and reading. Even if you did it last month and you didn't win, you can do it again. Um, Spirit, help me get clear and precise messages for my viewers. Archangel Michael, continue to show up. Block any negativity, block any interferences. Return it to sender or where it belongs. I don't know if you have a lot of Aries in your chart, or maybe you're someone's an April-born Taurus, um, but like a lot of similar energies coming out for Taurus and Aries. Um, it's not a huge surprise to me, just because y'all are right next to each other, but it, I was kind of surprised to see how much like similar energy was coming out. So somebody here has a lot of Aries in their chart, or like I said, you could be an April-born. Um, Taurus, it's funny because in the Scorpio read that I just did, I literally got, like, all your stuff is totally separate from Scorpio, separate from, everybody's is separate, but I was making a reference to the Taurus sign, and I got fake love, and your message, me channeling your message, which was from hours, days prior the song I was hearing was Fake Love by Drake. Um, also, this is a huge time of karma for you. Not, not just um, karmic energy, but like somewhere along this path, similar to Aries, you signed up for karmic debt. Somewhere along your past, you said, okay, I'm okay with receiving that kind of punish, punishment in the future, and that's what you're going through now. This is either you or somebody that you're dealing with, but um, whatever rough spell you're having now, it's just a bit of karma. Once upon a time, you agreed to it, for whoever that's for. The very first message I got was thief. Um, this doesn't have to be material things, though it can be, but you have somebody in your energy that uh, is insistent on taking from you. Um, it can be emotional starts, it can be identity, it can be anything, but they live to take from you. Um, yeah, just to do it, just to take from you, just because they can. This person also knows about some kind of real happiness in your life, real love in your life, and perhaps that's why they still want to take from you. The numbers I was seeing was 555 five, five, and 666. Six, six. This can talk about conflict, chaos, drama, competitive energy around something to do with the past. So that's 18, that's 9. Something's at a boiling point or it's reached its max uh, in this lifetime because what comes after 9? 10, a, a, a new start, one, a new start. Uh, so something has reached its potential. Something's reached the limit, it's at a boiling point. Um, let's see, we do have the super moon, super moon coming up at uh, Leo, August 1st, Leo season. It will be a full moon in Aquarius. We have Venus retrograde that's Taurus, we have Mercury retrograde, that's Aries, Scorpio, the messenger planet, some communications can also be kind of like confusion and dialogue and stuff like that. Um, north and south nodes are also shifting back a little bit, so um, north node in Scorpio is actually going back, south node in uh, Taurus is actually going back into Aries. Um, so this is all about, like, um, your north node is all about, like, introspection, right? What's fair to you now? Your south node is all about work. 
and what will work out and make things balanced now. Um, you also have a lot of hate around you or whoever you're dealing with. There's a lot of hate, hateful energy around, um, hateful words, haters, hateful situations, people operating out of hate. Um, try to keep in mind that like attracts like. I will talk to you in just a little bit. That's so funny because <laughs> I'm telling you, like, sometimes I freak, I really freak myself out. Um, as I'm channeling, I draw those energies in. It's so funny. But also something too about you could be dreaming about somebody in particular. Um, like attracts like. So when you were down and depressed and in the dumps, you attracted somebody who was also down and depressed and in the dumps. What we attract when we're broken is nothing like what we attract when we're healed. Um, so keep that in mind, like attracts like, and hate breeds hate. Misery loves company. Uh, somebody does not want to be seen for the lying, manipulative, snaky type energy that they are, and somebody else doesn't want to be seen as the caring, loving, nurturing, supportive person that they are. So two completely opposite contrasts there, and both people kind of faking uh, uh, the reality of, of what they are, who they are, what they are about. Um, let's see, somebody could have some old wounds that really need uh, to be dealt with. You and, per you and the person that you're dealing with, with the hate and the lack and the um, reaching a boiling point, um, y'all could kind of be like, and this doesn't have to be a, a love interest, it could be work, family, whatever, but y'all are kind of like understand like this isn't normal, uh, our fights are, are too much. Uh, this isn't love. Indeed, this is hate. Um, normal people don't get down like this. Um, you could be saying this to each other. Uh, this is too toxic of a work environment for us to continue on this path. We're going to end up harming each other some more or, you know, whatever. Um, you could have you and your uh, somebody else that's in your energy. You're also twinning, okay? You're going through the exact same things, even if you're not talking to this person, even if there's a lot of distance and time between you and this person, you're both going through the same things. Um, that being said, you could have been raised by, I won't say uh, uh, narcissistic parents, but I will say insatiable parents, where something is never enough, enough is never enough. This could have, uh, from childhood, made you feel like you're not enough, you're not good enough, and then if you had ever, you know, cut ties with these parents, you're kind of still stuck with the wound of perhaps not feeling like you're not good enough. Um, I recommend really taking that wound apart, uh, uh, getting the infection out and trying to heal that, um, especially if uh, one or both your parents are not here anymore. Not only are you dealing with why was I never good enough? Why am I not good enough? Why was enough never enough for you? But also a feeling of being left behind possibly because you could feel like you're not good enough when that's not the reality of the situation at all. Please create time to talk to yourself and to talk to your ancestors. It's vital. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Somebody is uh, hell-bent on trying to control a situation, and it's leading to a lot of um, lack of control. It's leading to a lot of uncontrol. Um, karma, again, how karmic, uh, you know, works. Um, tr also, somebody is also hell-bent on trying to force karma, and in return, that's bringing a lot of karma onto themselves, possibly unnecessary karma. Um, you don't trust someone that you're dealing with and if you're lacking trust in a partnership in a business agreement in a relationship and in a family dynamic a lack of trust makes a lack of everything else that's why a lot of people will say you can't have luck if lack if you don't have trust because trust is what you build off of and if you don't trust each other there's nothing there's nothing there there's nothing left um you can't you know like, you know, I have newly started uh, 
confirming basically is you can't be in a relationship with someone who is snaky in their business ventures and you can't build a business with someone who's snaky in their personal life you just can't it doesn't work out like that also if someone has a lot of debt on their shoulders or isn't doing well financially you can bet that they have a lot of karmic debt on them as well pay attention to the red flags pay attention to the signs and believe people when they show you who they are believe them the first time um let's see you could also, with all of this happening and then Venus in retrograde, things could be getting extremely ugly, is what I'm hearing right now. Um, ugly, ugly communication. Right back to the hate. Like, a lot of hateful, um, very, like, not good for anyone's health kind of energy here. Um, you could be being questioned a lot and you feel like you're getting the third degree, but, but why? because there's a lack of trust because you and whoever this person is y'all don't trust each other as far as you can throw each other and it feels like this energy feels like all y'all want to do is throw each other so yeah pluto and scorpio and sun and leo so a lot of fiery but also dreamy energy as well um again you could be you could be dreaming about someone pay close attention to your dreams right now because they're trying to tell you something uh accepting less being the demon of failure or you know the fallen demon just accepting failure you could be accepting less than what you deserve you could also be accepting a lot of like um immature childish kind of like energy tit for tat stuff like that uh re refusing to pay off any karmic debt or 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 any debt at all could be resulting in you're not okay with your life and where it's at or who or this is whoever you're dealing with you pick which side of it you're on uh which is causing more debt more karma more pain and you could possibly you or somebody else could possibly it could manifest in some kind of serious illness um really start wiping your slate clean i try to keep on top of that stuff and i found out the other day that i had debt that i didn't even know i had and here i am been walking around like this for like eight or nine years and I had to take care of that debt the other day but now I can embrace freedom from that debt uh, let's see you or somebody you are dealing with could be making kind of like comparisons where there isn't one um, so these could be not only wrong comparisons but letting outside influences um, make choices for you or compare for you or something like that which i always say gossip and outside influence usually ends or results in witch hunts which results in innocent people being burned at the stake make sure that you're not encouraging gossip listening to gossip partaking in the gossip or creating a, an environment where a witch hunt can take place nobody needs to go through that um, I personally have zero tolerance for bullying. I have zero tolerance for gossip, drama, entertaining, anything like that. You know, try to, you know, even if you don't want to say anything about it, at the very least, try to avoid it. Or this could be exactly what you're doing now. Let's see... With Mercury going retrograde, you could have a lot of things, just like me, with my little debt that that, that happened with. Uh, something from your past could be rising up, demanding to be dealt with. Uh, do not avoid this. You need to honor it before you end up in crisis mode. Um, it is good to feel, it is good to heal, and it's good to feel good. And admit whenever you need some kind of help. Um, pay attention to people's relationships with their parents, especially your own, because your relationship with the people that, you know, raised you, the people that you were born with and grew up with, it always bleeds over into the relationships you have now. Uh, if you didn't have a healthy relationship with your mother, chances are you're going to have an unhealthy relationship with your woman. If you didn't have a healthy relationship with your father, you may end up having healthy relationships with men. Um... something about like a honeymoon phase or an illusion coming to an end as well and um, also you could kind of be feeling bad because like somebody demanding you that you stay in this illusion or you stay in this honeymoon phase or you stay spoiling them giving them what they want or whatever it's you could be feeling that it's somehow uh um taken over the rest of your family time you could feel like 
this is taking away from my time with my kids this is taking away from my relationship with my kids and you could have children who kind of resent you for focusing so much on your dating life when you should have been focused on your time with your kids uh, that's not for everybody but it is for somebody pay attention to your technology your appliances your vehicles somebody's washer could go out or dryer could go out your car could be malfunctioning um, you could be thinking about making a car payment or selecting some kind of new vehicle but I feel like right now is not going to be a very good time at least until September if you don't have until that long you just don't have it but you need to be very wise about your decisions right now because this could end up once again in a very ugly malfunction and because you uh, may have bypassed uh, the small print or signed your name on the wrong dotted line Taurus again signed your name on the wrong dotted line you end up with a lemon watch out for that um, something about delusional energy as well with the illusion and delusion Pluto Scorpio Aquarius energy dreamy fantasy um, you could be fantasizing about somebody you could have somebody uh, that is very very much a fantasy for you or you find yourself daydreaming and night dreaming about this person um, but you could be, be feeling kind of um, like put off or like they have their guards up against you uh, I'm gonna say like right now they probably do especially if communication has been delayed blocked or ugly in the past um, yeah they do make sure that you are not uh, having unrealistic expectations of human beings because you can fantasize about somebody all day long but when they show you that they are still human that's okay too but there's a difference in being human and and being unhealthy understand and be able to distinguish between these things um, somebody is also jealous of an appearance and I don't mean someone's jealous of your looks I mean somebody is jealous and envious of the way that something appears to be they're jealous of a fantasy they're not necessarily well they could be jealous of the reality of the situation but it's like somebody could be jealous of somebody's success but they don't they don't even know about the hard times and the strife and the poverty and and the hard work that it took for that person to be at that success somebody could be jealous of somebody else's looks or body or physique but they don't understand the hours it took at the gym the constant dieting the I can't have cake or cookies uh, for months at a time to get that physique you know what I'm saying but the way that something looks on the outside somebody isn't even like considering what what's going on behind closed doors to get to that person but they're still envious and jealous of what something looks like they're jealous of a fantasy um, because this whoever this is is jealous of this like what's going on on the outside uh, this person could possibly seem like they're never happy uh, and that's because it, they're not meant to be in the situation that they're in this person could have created a life based off of jealousy for this fantasy um, and now they're not happy in that life and that fantasy that they're jealous of doesn't even exist okay so a lot of delusion here pay attention to people that want others to be hurt because that the same people that want other people to feel hurt they want you to feel hurt as well so if someone um, bribes people to gang up on someone else or bribes people to take action that's going to cause one person to be hurt no matter whether they know each other or not they want to inflict pain on somebody else that's the kind of person you're dealing with they want you to feel that as well and if not today it may be tomorrow and if not tomorrow it may be this upcoming weekend but they're going to do with the exact same things to you very much sleeping with the enemy kind of vibes here also pay attention to the people that refuse to get others hurt they don't want other people to be hurt they don't want pain on other people or strife on other people you could end up you know this person could end up isolating or spending a lot of time like alone or just behind the scenes because 
they don't like how people get down like that. They don't want anyone to be hurt. Um, this person has done a lot of shadow work. You could now be coming into a reality that someone else in your energy, they've already came into that reality and done the work, but it was a long time ago. And now you're stepping into that reality, but there's only one person that understands fully what you're going through because they, they've already went through it. Something about that. Uh, with this happening, nostalgia, a lot of nostalgia, past, um, uh, inevitable endings. With this inevitable ending, you could be dealing with someone that is very, like, explosive when it comes to, like, not accepting re the reality of situations. This person seems like they stay in delusion a lot. They stay in fantasy land a lot. They even try to get others to come into this fantasy land and create a lot of lies and illusion over other people. Uh, this person could stay up in a lot of gossip, drama, um, witch hunts, uh, slandering others to make themselves appear uh, in a different light or something like that. And then some of the colors I was seeing was uh, black, black cherry, brown, and turquoise. Okay. So again, this is for my Taurus babies. Thank you guys for the like, subscribes, all of the love. Okay, so you got your eyes on somebody that's really healthy. You consider this person pure. You consider this person, yeah, moving in silence. Um, could consider this person, I don't know, like, like fit or something. But if you have, if you have nothing to take out your uh, certain energies on. You could find yourself competing with this person when they're actually on your team. Alright, what is coming in for Taurus? Dang, happiness hater and happy. So something makes you really, really happy, but you have uh, somebody that hates on it. They hate on it behind the scenes and in front of the scenes. I wasn't even pulling signs yet, but okay. So Virgo and then Scorpio. You could be thinking about somebody possibly like behind the scenes or something. Slander. What the heck? What is coming in? That is so funny because Taurus had messages in Scorpio and Scorpio had messages in Taurus. Y'all could be dealing with each other or something. You could be, I don't know. What is coming in for Taurus? What's going on with Taurus? I mean, Taurus didn't pop out this prominently, but... Dang, all the signs coming out. We also have Gemini out here. I think I saw Aries too. So. Yeah, somebody likes to be up in the middle of everybody else's business and then wonders why they're not happy with their own life. Dang, dude, the A word, not good here. What's coming up for Taurus? I knew it. Like I was just saying, I'm like zero tolerance for bullies around here. 
Um, also, for cross watchers, you're welcome here, but please keep my page respectful or you will be blocked. Zero tolerance for bullying. What else? What else is coming in for Taurus? Oh, okay. Uh, confused. Good lord, how much gossip do you got around you? You're popping up like that. Also, somebody, yeah, somebody could have definitely, like, set up a situation. It, it was intentional. Somebody wanted uh, a couple people, possibly, to feel hurt. To feel, yeah, I'm telling you, man. You got a lot of, like, just toxic energy around you. Not healthy. Yuck. So, I don't know. I don't know if this is your past or whoever you're dealing with or whatever, but I also got Sagittarius showing up here. Something could have happened from September to December, or it could be happening. Why is bully here? You could have watched people bully someone and again, kind of part partook in it, or somebody did that to you. Okay, with the signs, come on now. I feel like I don't even need to pull signs now. Why is bully here? Happiness hater again. So, Somebody did not want to see you happy. It's just... Somebody possibly thinks that you're not very smart. Yeah. Uh, this person doesn't just bully other people, they bully you. one for bully. Where's bully here? I'm low vibe. Somebody wishing illness, possibly worse, on somebody else, and it's coming back. It's backfiring. Why is confused here? Taurus, you could be the one confused, honestly. Drama. You don't really understand, like, why somebody is as, like, low vibe and malicious as they are, but boy, oh boy. Somebody likes it. Somebody gets off on that. Why is confused here? You could be uh, in a bit of regret because of some karmic energy that you're going through. Why is toxic here? Yeah, haters. Why is toxic here? Somebody, I was just about to say, dude, somebody lies like a mug. And it's all lies. Why is toxic here? Somebody cheats on their partners, their people. Somebody could have possibly told you that uh, you were a little too, you know, toxic. Not adding up and winning. So somebody will do anything to feel like they're winning when really they're losing. Oh, wow. Well. Mom and spirit showed up, so um, definitely make time for that, please. We'll get some signs. Some more. <laughs> Lord.
Piglet signs are coming towards my Taurus babies. Signs coming in for Taurus. You kind of feel stuck between your past and your future. We got Capricorn. Sag again. So could definitely be dealing with Sagittarius. That could be another person. Scorpio again. That could be another person that you're having uh, issues with. Pluto, Scorpio again. Somebody could have a Scorpio parent. One more with Gemini and Virgo. One more. Libra. So, so yeah, definitely something about the past and then your future. Mars, Aries, Scorpio, energy. A lot of Scorpio here. Uh, Lord, somebody thinks it's funny for you to wage war on someone as well. So, possibly wage war on someone that um, uh, they're dear to you. Perhaps all the people that are dear to you. Someone thinks it's funny to create problems between you and people that you love. Why is Bully and Low Vibe here? The Sorcerer, that is um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person could be flighty, in and out, up and down, all the above. We have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag as well. Holy Mountain, ooh, snap. Suck between heaven and hell. Uh, you've been given warnings. You've been given a lot of uh, red flags to go off of. It seems like you haven't taken heed to any of those warnings. You've received counseling. You 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 could be going to counseling right now. Eleven more Scorpio energy, um, and then with the nine nineteen something has reached a boiling point, and you. Somebody here, if it's not you, has been told, haunted and ghost dance. I'm telling you, dude, somebody's got some crazy stuff going on around them. Um, somebody has been told that is fire and that is hot and someone keeps touching it. Earth, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. <laughs> All right, why is toxic and not adding up? Wild woman, number eight. Somebody could be very abundant in their freedom, in their quest for freedom. Somebody does things like a little different than everyone else. They're free, they're wild. And time master uh, something this person could have ghosted you or you could have ghosted them thunder the beloved rainmaker that you're a player, uh, somebody, dang, a lot of fire here, gain, the situation leads to a lot of gain, baby trap. Someone's always intentionally getting pregnant or getting others pregnant to trap them, keep them stuck, run. Why is ghost dance here? Ooh, snap. Identity thief. Third party copies somebody and it turns somebody else off. And then pleasure, somebody thinks of you. Uh, 
while basically when someone's happy they think of you someone's happy thoughts make them think of you or this is you you think of somebody when when you're happy earth water nice wild woman here chase someone expected you to chase them like others have now they're confused why okay so you could have it okay you could have a lot of love for someone that loves freedom and i'm not saying freedom to be in the streets i'm saying free as then they've been forced to be independent so now that's exactly what they are they've been forced to be alone um or or have just lived alone a, a, a lot spent a lot of time alone so now they're okay with being alone somebody could have expected this lone wolf this wild free spirit to chase them and 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 when they didn't because you could be used to other people chasing you if i'm gonna be totally honest you could be used to uh uh the thirst trap kind well when this other person didn't it could have thrown you off like well they must not care if they're not going to chase me well no it's just toxic free yeah player game somebody 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 definitely thinks somebody else is just a player of game. So why is Time Master here? Messages. You could be getting messages from the past and future. And then some kind of help. Five of Pentacles and a Three of Pentacles. That's Taurus energy. You could be collaborating with someone or thinking about it. Wheel of Fortune, Time, uh, Karma. You could be dealing with Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. Four of Wands. You could be dealing with your twin. man can be about feeling stuck but it can also be about needing to let go of something needing to surrender something Venus being reversed and Mercury being reversed as well. We have the lovers reversed. Um, this can put a final nail in the coffin for relationships that were already uh, headed downhill anyway. It can uh, really uh, quicken the speed. You could be going through a breakup. Could be ending things with a Sagittarius or a Libra. Or mourning um, a Scorpio. And a mom over here as well. Scorpio, 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 mom. You could have a mother that's a Scorpio. King of Pentacles. The Magician. Five of Wands. Somebody could possibly think that you like to wage war on them. What's the lovers? What else? What is, what's coming in for Taurus? Or that's how you feel about somebody else. Nine of Cups. So... Again, wish come true. Careful what you wish for. Somebody definitely getting it. With haunted and confused. Yeah, the magician with the five of wands again. Somebody, somebody th thinks that a lot of drama follows you, or that you create a lot of drama. You're waiting for something. You could be waiting. You're waiting for something. The full, some kind of new beginning or some kind of new start. Four. You could be seeing four, four, four a lot right now. A lot of karma. 
coming in for Taurus. Four of Wands. Holy moly. Four, 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 four. You see success with someone. So what's the problem? What's the lover's reverse? Somebody could have been trying to gain off of you with a baby. The moon, you may not see. You could also be fearing, like, losing something. What's the nine of cups? Whoa. Yeah, a lot of crazy-ass energy here. Eight of swords. Ace of swords. Two of cups. Getting free from some kind of bondage so that you could come together with someone else or something. Breaking free. What's a nine of cups? That's what your wish is? You wish you could break free from something? Queen of wands? It doesn't have to be an Aries Leo Sag, but it could be. Some kind of like third party empress, baby mom. It's a nine of cups for Taurus. Could be getting some bad news about uh, possibly about money because it did come out in the reverse. Or you wish that that you wouldn't have done something about money. What's the magician? Ten of Swords. Massive betrayal here. Somebody big time betrayal. What's the full? Eight of Cups. Walking away to have a new start. Or a new start created by walking away from something. The star, success, like a lot of success here. What's a four of wands? Queen of cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody, I'm just gonna say like uh, for a general read, Taurus, <laughs> you could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio. A lot of y'all are. A lot of y'all are steady thinking about a Scorpio. Nine of Pentacles, very abundant, this person, whoever you're thinking of. They could be a Cancer or Pisces, but that whole corner is Scorpio. And then it ends with Scorpio. Your Scorpio, your, your twin could be a Scorpio, twin, Scorpio. What's the moon? You could have hid a certain situation from someone, or you're still hiding a situation from someone. King of Swords, Masculine, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's the eight of, what's this pinnacle in reverse? What's the pinnacle in reverse? Two little wands, stopping somebody's money, thinking, somebody thinking about stopping somebody else's money. What's the magician and the betrayal? Karma, man, karma, 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 the fucking tower. Whoo wee, ain't that how it goes, man? Somebody's manipulation to betray ended in a complete explosion and now somebody wants a, a brand new emotional start somebody wants to forget about the past start over <laughs> sir things don't work like that somebody watches somebody else now could be watching each other what what is the full here with the eight of cups and the full for taurus what's the full for taurus High Priestess. Two of Pentacles. Somebody knew. Somebody knew about the games. Somebody knows about the games. What's a Four of Wands, Queen of Cups for Taurus? 
Merchants of Horror Wands, Queen of Cups for Taurus. This means like uh, the only time I was happy was with someone. The only time I was genuinely. Yeah, that fucking Cheryl Crow song. Did you know? Could you tell? You were the only one that I ever loved. Okay. Eight of Swords. Somebody feels trapped. Somebody feels bound in something that they've invested in. So what's the outcome? Not come for Taurus. What's the outcome here? Ooh. Judgment. Karma. But that ain't just judgment. That um is ancestral uh uh, uh, judgment. Um, the elders, if you will. Bro, I will message you in a minute. Damn. Okay. It's coming in. What's the outcome? Ten of Wands. Damn burdens, man. King of Cups. Somebody needs to tend to their wounds. Okay? Because somebody else is like on the top of the wheel and somebody's on the bottom of the wheel. Somebody's having a really good, you know, time and somebody's having a really, really bad time. Karma. That I ever loved. Everything so wrong. Dang, the lovers again. If it's not you, it's whoever you're dealing with. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Somebody is heartbroken. just some really, really manipulative people. Somewhere in this, uh, somebody feels completely betrayed. Dang. And because of that betrayal, someone is losing a lot of, uh, uh, physical opportunities. Somebody also just wants to drain, oh my gosh, the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Somebody is uh, hoarding over some money, and that's causing all kinds of karma, towers, tornadoes, ruins, wars, because somebody won't uh, let something go. Something, somebody put a uh, stop to something or stole something. And it's the opposite of whatever you're thinking, which, like whatever you saw initially, was like a fake scenario, but what the real scenario is actually like going on. What's the two of wands? Two of wands for Taurus. Five of Pentacles. Tower. Eight of Swords, High Priestess, Magician, yup, let's see Eight of Swords for Taurus, Six of Pentacles, so somebody's getting, you know, they're just due. What's this Ace of Pentacles reverse? Emperor. Aries Scorpio energy. Uh, could be you, though. Somebody blocking your blessings, taking your money. What's the Five of Pentacles for Taurus? Whatever was put out is definitely coming back onto somebody else. King of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. You could feel left out in the cold or something like that. Uh, ended something. You wanted it this way, or something like that. What's the Ace, Eight of Swords? Page of Wands. 
Magician. Oh, shit. Seven of Pentacles. Investing in a very manipulative energy. What's the Six of Pentacles for Taurus? Six of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Knight of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Somebody cheated a, a genuine person for someone else, and that person that someone cheated a genuine person for ended up being childish, a hoe, and juggled that person. Karma. If somebody chose somebody else over you, or somebody, or you got hurt and somebody else chose somebody else, or somebody juggled you to choose somebody else, that person now is doing the same thing to them. And if you did this to somebody else, the person that you chose is now juggling you and being flaky and a hoe to you with, for somebody else. This is karma, man, a lot of freaking karma. So, six of pentacles, six of pentacles, what's coming in for Taurus? Dang, nine of swords. Somebody can't sleep because this shit either. What's judgment? Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. The Hierophant. Dang, dude. You could be being asked to surrender your burdens, to leave whatever is weighing you down behind. It's the Nine of Wands. Ten of Swords. Good lord. Massive, massive betrayal. It's a wrap. Something is a wrap. Four of Cups. Learning when to say no. Alright, let's get you some advice. This was a little long, but that's okay. Some things like you know deep down. You know what you need. You know what's supposed to be done. You know, but Matrix. Somebody stays in a matrix and I don't know. Alright, advice for Taurus. What's the advice for Taurus going forward? Somebody may not be seeing how a forward movement could cause to a, a lack of finances. Into me, I see number eight. Feeling the world, 13. Body and soul, almost identical energies here. Uh, so, yeah. Being guided to meditate, get a feel for reality versus fantasy, get in touch with mind, body, and soul, and understand that you do have worth so move accordingly move to what's going to prove your worth add to your worth not take away and cause karma cause burdens cause cause breakage cause you know unhealthy unhealthy situations dynamics for everyone involved tying back to even possibly the youngins here Your intuition could be starting to open up, though. I'll give you that. Spiritually. Alright, that is what I have for you guys. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Stay spiritual, gangsters. Bye!